Iowa legislature is still um, going to be looking at whether or not to allow for syringe service programs to be operational in Iowa. And uh, as somebody who is uh, in recovery and, and was previously using uh, heroin, you know, what, what do you think those programs can offer to people who are in the community either looking for recovery or, um, you know, looking for a safer way to, um, you know, inject and protect their health as much as they can? Addicts are going to use whether, you know, they're told to or not. Um, taking away those services removes the opportunity for them to reach out for support groups, maintenance groups. Um, it takes away essential tools to uh, reduce the spread of diseases, infections, um, and, it, and it removes hope. You know, it, re it really deepens the stigma within society that, that it's wrong to be an addict and, and you know and to some degree maybe it is but they're still human beings they still hold value and they're still loved and that's very important okay, and what what do people um, who maybe don't have experience personally with addiction you know what what do they need to understand about what it's like to, to be in that uh, in the throes of addiction or, or having a loved one in that position I wouldn't wish it on anyone, but um, I guess to me it was a slow suicide. I was on, you know, I didn't know if I wanted to live or not. I didn't feel hopeless. I didn't feel loved. And not to say that everyone that uses heroin feels that way, but I think a lot of them do. I think that reaching out to them to say, hey, I love you, is, and you, you know, you're important, can do more things than you know, people are willing to admit.